not working. I know, I'm just one stomach flew away from my gold weight. Look at us, one million more. All the people. Look at you. Hello. You're, you're a vision. Oh. Thank God I saved your job. Take it easy, buddy. Why? Well, it's a party. Wouldn't you be drinking if you lost the bundle on some crackpot who you thought was going to take you with him to fame and fortune? Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. The committee, or the Science Library of New York, is pleased to present our guest of honor. Hi. Oh, you. Listen, I'm sorry. This museum was originally dedicated to that man on a horse up there, President Theodore Roosevelt. Now, he absolutely loved history and believed that the more you know about the past, a highly intelligent primate known for its loving and generous nature. Ah. Excuse me? One of the most famous trackers in history, Sacagawea was the woman who led Lewis and Clark on their expedition to find the Pacific Ocean. Now, you guys have probably heard the saying, actions speak louder than words, and yet they wrote... It was incredible what she did. She literally led these men uh, across rivers, up mountains, all with her newborn baby on her back. And she, she was like the ultimate working mother. Wow. You were quite the Sacagawean expert. The wait is over. After two months of renovation tonight, the Museum of Natural History reopens its doors to the public. As you can see, New Yorkers are flooding in eager to see just what changes are in store. And ladies, my name is Theodore Roosevelt, naturalist, rough rider, and 26th president of these great United States. Come along, lad. The hunt is afoot. Lawrence? chapters down. I'll write them down for you. All right. As well as the New Testament chapters of St. Matthew. I love to teach. I love sharing. See, this is the wonderful thing about Mr. Muhammad. When he gives you this knowledge, when he shares this knowledge with you, you can't help but to run out and... and Excuse me, um, Brother Minister. In America, it's what? Anti, anti disestablishmentarian Hey, that's pretty good, Gru. Actually, I no longer work. The Apatosaurus, formerly known as the Brontosaurus, is from the family of enormous herbivores. Herbivores means vegetarian. Like mommy, you know? What's that over there? I wish my ancestors made totem poles. Well, they did. That one looks just like you. <laughs> yes. Well, that guy has a big... They're a Matisse family. They live in the Amazon. Which one's the nanny? She has the day off. Things are different in that part of the world. Here we go. Hold hands. Hold hands. Rosa, 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 could, could you just try to speak English? Okay. Okay. Hello? Give me that marble. It's my dad. <laughs> Give it. So? It's my dad's marble. Uh, no, uh, Rosa? Uh, no, Rosa. It's. No, 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 no. Don't. So? Give it. So? so? Yes. So. See, got... Hey, guys. Guys. What are you doing? So, guys, so, what are you so. doing? I finally landed a position in the education department at the Museum of Natural History. That's right, I'm teaching again. There's a staff of both volunteer docents and trained educators like myself who pick up where their classwork leaves off.